My name is Mimi Keiro. I'm a Cleveland-based artist. Um, I'm originally from Japan. My past work, um, it dealt with a lot of traditional Japanese art form. I started to pay close attention to the landscape. I started to notice that there's so many familiar plants from home. And it was really nice to see these plants because they kind of made me home here. So I wanted to do something with them. I wanted to do some project with them. So this is what it started. I love the way that she partnered up with the naturalists from the Metro Parks. She recognized that this is, um, the invasive species is a problem that they're, they're dealing with all the time. I just decided to follow the invasive plant coordinator and their clue to do their normal routine work. In a huge bass field, just five, six of them, just pointing one plant, you know, plant at a time, treating them, and it's like endless work. So just looking at how much work they do and how tedious their work is, my interest to do projects with invasive plants I shifted a little bit more toward what we do to control them and what we do to make the landscape in the way we want or in the way we want to enjoy. And then to come in with this really simple and subtle way of kind of memorializing what was taken out with this. You have to hold a flashlight up to your face and so you look out and it just sort of glows and it's um a little bit like seeing like a cat or a raccoon cross the street in the dark. Even in the natural setting, this is artificial landscape. The people, I wanted to inform people on that. So it has to be, from the start, the work needed to be educational to the people. I think something like this can just be a very simple and powerful tool of connecting with people. And some people need to read to learn things and other people need to see something visually. And I think that this is a powerful way of making people think about what these species do here. The trick of it is that it's very lovely also. So the artwork is this very kind of lovely, but a little bit eerie piece. Working with these public partners gets the artwork out into the eyes of people who might not otherwise have known that something like this existed. The subject of invasive species is not new. People know there's a lot of invasive plants. By doing this project, I also learned that 40% of the plant life at the Metro Park is a foreign origin, it's not native. This much plant was here, and this much work needs to be put by the people. I think it has some impact to start a conversation, and that was my hope. Much like the plants that were growing here that were removed, you can't over-dominate a natural space with artwork, and so doing something that is temporary is a way of kind of honoring the space itself. There's also something sad to this story. It's you bloom where you're planted, right? So you can't help where, where you're growing, which is simple, but it makes you just sort of think about all of the other things that it might be representing. And they are here brought by people or by chance and just doing their own thing, but it's not their fault. It's just a plant. For me, it's more like how we create the landscape, what we bring can thrive here and what we can bring can really take over the landscape and we really need to pay close attention to that and how we really need to think about what kind of landscape we want in the future.